Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. I've got a new computer, as you can see. I now have a MacBook Pro. And um, so yeah, with this MacBook Pro comes Photoshop CS5. Oh yes, guys and dolls, we have CS5. I don't have the extended edition, but anyway, it does the same thing as the extended edition. So I have it now on my deck right here. We're going to open it, and I'm going to show you now a cool little 3D effect that I found very awesome. So I'm going to open a new canvas of any size. I'm using a small size just for the heck of it, but you can use whatever size you'd like. I'm now going to type some text in blue. I'm using Arial Black for my text font, in case you're curious. All right, there we go. And I'm using blue for the color because it's going to show you um, the uh, 3D-ness a little better than it would if it was black or white. Um, so using colors really works well for this 3D effect. Um, now you're going to click on 3D. Oops, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now you can click on the repouse, repouse tool. That's how you say it. I have no idea, but I'm saying it that way anyway. All right. Click on text layer. It'll ask you to rasterize it. Just say yes because you need to anyway, so whatevs. And, um, all right, now I'm going to go scroll. Now you have all these cool effects here you can choose from. But for this cool little text effect I'm showing you, I'm going to use this big, this big one here, the shear. All right, now you can freely move this any way you'd like. I'm just going to, nope, we don't want to resize it. So I'm going to maneuver it into a direction of choice. Wing. Um, uh, it'll take some getting used to because really it's kind of hard to, you know, maneuver it. Uh, let's see. Well, that looks alright, I guess, but not really how I'm going to show it. Do you Photoshop? I sincerely. Alright. Well, we're going to do it like that, okay? Not really how I wanted to show it, but oh well. Okay. So now we're going to click on the word all, and you're going to select this grassy type color right here. And after that, you're going to click on the word sides, and you're going to select this dark brown color here, which will result in dirt. Oh, yes, we have it. And you're going to change the back to dirt as well, just so that in case you maneuver it, you'll see it. Hello. All right, there we go. And you can click OK for all set, or if you want to maneuver your um, text a little more, you can. Um, I like it like this. So click OK, you're good to go, and look at that. Okay, now once you have this done, you're free to go any, any, any direction you want. <coughs> Excuse me. You can now add flowers, trees, anything you'd like as a background to make it look awesome. I'm not going to really show you how to do that because I figure that being as awesome as you are, I'm sure you know how to kind of add stuff into Photoshop as well. I'll show you in my final outcome what it looks like. So, all right, guys, this is my final outcome right here. As you can see, I added flowers, trees, and whatnot, and a background and some texture. And yeah, looks awesome, right? So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this fabulous tutorial. As always, thank you for subscribing, comment, and like me.